Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. What is the message for Pisces spirit? All right. You have the card of protection, guardian of the land, number 21. That's a nice card to get. Under the deck, it says frog spirit renewal, number 20. Hmm. What does Pisces need to know at this time? Okay, decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Okay, so what I'm picking up is you have to decide about something. Yes, a relationship, a person, a job, a, a path you're on, a, where you want to live. I feel like you need to take a moment, like the Four Swords, and just think about this. I feel like that's the renewal card. Like you need to think about what you're choosing next. In that downtime, I feel like you're protected by the universe. That's what I just get. Like they'll help you or guide you or like if you need some time off. What is the energy for Pisces? What is the overall energy for Pisces at this time? Oh, the Two of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. What is the... Um, how this person feels six of wands what is in the hidden the ace of swords and what is the um, potential outcome five of swords Ooh, a lot of swords and the deck is full look at wheel of fortune something could be changing for you definitely more positive energy could be coming in you could be making i'm getting for someone you're just thinking about moving from where you live the city the state the country something like that that's and that's a big decision you are protected but I'm getting a new home here for somebody. But full energy is brand new energy. You're going to take all of those. Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of a period of darkness if you do feel that way. What is the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups here? Judgment, the Seven of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Okay. I also got somebody maybe moving in or moving out with someone. Okay, so this is about renewing something. But this is taking a, a second look. This is about making a decision. Looking at it... Um, back and forth up and down sideways looking at looking at it not not rushing anything so what is the two of, i'm sorry two of swords i meant the page of swords what is the page of swords hierophant the five of cups and the four of cups so pisces there's probably someone who's going to be coming in who's already watching you it looks like a past person who's going to give you an offer who's going to possibly say they miss you they want you back they want to work on this this is the decision you probably are going to have to make it could be a renewal of a relationship. So what is the Six of Wands? The Six of Wands, again, the Three of Coins and the Nine of Coins. Somebody really wants to work something out with you, okay? And I feel like they already think you are going to take them back or you guys are going to work this out. Now, this could be a, a small argument for some of you. Maybe this is them coming back in and saying they're sorry or you saying you're sorry. Or it could be a past person you've had a lot of drama with. But this person feels like the two of you can work this out, three of coins, and that you are a great catch with the nine of coins. They do see you as being, you know, very abundant, beautiful nine of coins energy here. What is this ace of swords? What is in the hidden? Nine of coins, the high priestess, and the eight of wands. So this is the communication. Now the nine of coins in the other deck, I always feel like it is someone who is looking at the past and not moving forward and reminiscing or just you know i don't know if they necessarily need to be moving forward they're just choosing to look back this person's yeah this person is thinking about you thinking about the past thinking about the connection that the two of you have now again this can be a renewal of a friendship a family member something like that partnership of some sort it doesn't have to be love there's your energy under the deck pisces with the moon the five of swords is you being protected is what i kind of feel the universe protecting you whatever decision you make you have to make a decision is what I'm getting. What, what do you want to do next? This is going to be presented to you. It's going to be in your face. You're going to have to decide what to do. What is this five of swords? Four of coins, the eight of coins, and the ten of coins. Well, some of you may just be working on this or working with this person or working on your business. or This is you just saying, you know what? If it's like I'm going to focus over here on my job, my money, my career, my family, my long-term stability. Because this could actually be turning a person away. This could be having them come in after a long period of time and you saying, nope, no thank you. And maybe you get the last word and you get to shut the door on them or something like that also. But again, I'm kind of getting this as like you moving on. You're making that decision and you're going to feel pretty good about it. You're going to know that I'm hearing some about spirit. You're released. You're released. Spirit has released you or something. The cords have been cut or something along that line. Yeah, so you're going to say, I'm not going to take this person back. Now, others of you might work on this. If this is a marriage, though, the other way I can read this is this is a relationship, maybe a marriage for some of you, and the two of you together, you do have a lot of abundance. 
they feel like when they were with you, things just work. That's why they view you as the nine of coins. Like you and them are abundant together. You guys make a really good team. But you're going to lay down boundaries and you're going to lay down the laws kind of getting at the five of swords like it's about what you want this time and not necessarily what exactly they want what is this hangman energy oh nine of cups so some of you are very happy now what's interesting is the six of cups is in reverse though under the deck and that is my card of not going back to the past but again it's it's totally up to you and you know i read reversals i just usually put them all back upright but that is so interesting one more for the four of cups the sun. Look at all this positive energy. Again, page of swords. Okay, one thing I know this person really does admire you and like you and does really want to get back together with you. They feel like their world would be more abundant, happier just being around you. What else would this person like to say to Pisces? Okay. Time flies when I'm with you. They also want to say, after all, soulmates end up together. And P.S. I love you. So this is showing me that you really like this person or love this person or this person really loves you and this person wants to be with you and it looks like the two of you together are a great team and you're happy together and you are their wish fulfilled. Now did I clarify the fool? I don't remember clarifying him. He doesn't have any cards on him so I'm assuming I did not. There's a death here though. Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands, oh, that's the decision. Okay, so basically it is, it's a renewal, death. It is a decision that needs to be Two of Wands. You can take whatever path you want to take. Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person is very passionate about you and they do have a very big offer, Ace of Coin. Let me go to Guidance from Spirit with this deck. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, Six of Wands. So again, victory, Knight of Cups under the deck. So being happy about this communication, being happy. So whether it's communication, closure, move, moving, I was gonna say moving, moving, moving in, getting back together, uh, you feel happy. You feel justified in this um, offer or this um, communication. So Two of Swords, the world, and the Ace of Coins, something brand new, a new change, a new beginning. Page of Swords is, I think, hasn't he shown up in every single deck? So this is definitely communication, but it's also, I think you can also feel helped. Could I have the Ten of Wands back here? Two of Wands and Page of Swords. You know what this could also be? It's like good news for someone about money, work, um, partnership, making a lot of money now. Someone's been eyeing you, eyeing your work, eyeing, eyeing, eyeing your business. So your reading is super positive actually overall. I mean, it was initially, but I felt like it was more about making this decision and having to really, you know, soul search. I don't think that's what your reading is about. I think your reading is more about an opportunity or this person, this partnership coming back in that's really gonna benefit you and create more stability in your life, a new beginning. I feel like for some of you, this is like a partnership and a team and you will be cutting other people out or off. But I feel like these other people could be, you know, haters or jealous people or people who really don't have your back. I feel like there's a coming together for some of you, like there's a, a, a team feeling. So I see really good energy here overall, Pisces. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.